Hello everybody and welcome back to a uh, uh, good old Atomic Heart. Yeah, it's been a hot minute. I don't fucking know what I've been doing for the past four weeks, three weeks. I don't know when was the last time I, I uploaded this. Oh, uh, it's been a fucking hot minute. I am ready to use that sexy golden machine again. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, cool. Are we ready? Eddie, fucking, I need to begin. Where, where, where is it? Rabbit! Rabbit! Rabbit. Oh, jeez. Don't. God, don't do that. You ready? Good. I know. Shave that beard off. God, you're looking like an old man. It hasn't been that long. What's the lifespan of a rabbit? I don't know. Uh, I'm about to shorten it by a few years. Anyway, hey, let's get going. Uh, we're gonna continue. I'm excited. I remember this is stream camera. This is this is recording camera. I got two separate cameras now. They're sitting right next to each other. I mean, if I look directly in between them, I'm not looking directly at you. I'm just slightly off. Now, where was I again? Tie every... Oh, Lordy Lou, don't do that. I almost just dropped my monitor. But yeah, I want to have this... It's like, I want it right here, but I'm just so fucking fat that I'm like... I'm sorry, Rabbit. I'm sorry that you had to hear that, buddy. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, it was 4-bit. It was 4-bit. It was 4-bit. Okay. I'm gonna leave it back there so you don't hear me breathing. And we're gonna jump right into it. Uh, make sure to tie everything down. What happened last time? Uh, repair the mirror. Oh, that's right. We were doing, we were trying to, I don't remember. We're trying to find the doctor and trying to find daddy doctor. And one of the machine, why is it every time I got a stream, I gotta start yawning? Maybe I'm not used to talking this much. Because I don't like talking this much. Alright. Um, if I lean back. Okay, so this one will turn just a little bit. There we go. There we go. And see my beautiful face. Anyway. So. Those freaks and their goddamn mustaches. Oh! Again. Oh my god. I almost forgot about you. God, I forgot how much of a horror game this is. You look like you're having a conversation. Do I remind you who's here? Get over here. Get over here, I say. Uh, so what was with the golden door? Can I not? Oh, I can't go through the golden door. But it's a golden door. Oh my god. What, what was my sensitivity? I remember it being like this. How did that or... It's just been a while since I played a shooter. Uh, I tried to do it perfect, and I fucked up the timing. Alright. Ooh. Revelio! Oh, sorry. Revelio! Oh, wait, wait, wait. How do I do it again? Revelio! The fuck is this? Are these. Oh, these are magnets. Wait. Oh, wait. No, this is that laser. The laser puzzle. I can't go in there? Really? You're gonna give me this open window and not go through there? Just get some metal parts, I guess. Comrade, what happened? Alright, nothing there. You still can't open up that door. Oh, there's a chest right here I missed. Alright, you guys tell me about my chest. Huh? Shotgun shells. Ooh, nice. Try to keep my shotguns loaded. 
Oh, there's, there is stuff like on the windowsill. Well, I can't forget that. Is it just a metal part? Is it worth it? Probably not, but you know. What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things, but it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. Science, bitch! But it doesn't fix the fact that I'm stuck. Those, those robots are just chillaxing. Uh, yeah, let's see, like, he's just kind of taking it. This one's chilling. This one's staring at him. There's, like, a whole story going on here. Let's see, anything... Oh. Well, I mean, if you say so. Stay down, bitch. We had hats. We had suits. We had boots. We didn't have a plan. We didn't have a plan. Uh, what are you talking about? My partner and I used to service the magnets here. And each day we worried we might get grounded if we got careless. Or rubber treated pants, swallow pills. Put tinfoil under the hard hat, anything to avoid getting torn apart by the magnetic field. But it was the robots that killed you. Nah, come on, not the robots. It was poor judgment. We should have gotten weapons and body armor. You see, the problem wasn't the robots. It was lack of preparation. You lack should always know what's going to happen. Hmm? You can never be ready for everything. God damn it, that's a miserable excuse. Take my advice. Hmm? Never part with what you can use. Always think twice before wasting a bullet. Stay low and make short runs from one shelter to another. Never investigate anything unless absolutely necessary. Following your advice would make life pretty damn dull. Do what I did and you're gonna live longer. Look, uh, there's a hole big enough in your logic to drive a truck through, but... Whatever. Oh, hi, hi, punk. Hi. Hi. Oh, you want to come say hi? Hmm? Say hi. And he's gone. Anyway. How's that for logic? If you did what I did, you'd live longer. Well, sir, you are dead. So, I think your uh, your little plan is flawed. Revelio. Oh, there's a chest in there. Wait, how do I get into the chest? Wait a minute. Ah, that's how. I got some bottles. Vodka, domino, and shotgun shells. Will this kill me? No, it won't. Oh, and I can like, make it to the end. Shit, this puzzle was easy. Anything hidden I'm missing? No? Well, shit, fine then. Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I gotta follow. It's over there. Alright. 
Revelio. Oh, it's over there? Okay. So then... They're probably gonna kill me. Oh. Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. Is, yeah. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are. But neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrade Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common, everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. I hate how accurate the glove is for an AI. This is where we're coming to for AIs. Rabbit, I want you that entire conversation. I want you zoomed in and my and my face reaction right next to it. I don't I don't figure that out, but I'm like I mean he makes a point. If the glove is the main if my glove is the main antagonist at the end of this game, we already thought like we already thought Big Daddy Skorgunov uh, uh, was going to be the big bad. We already thought that. We've already discussed that. We've done it. We've discussed it. We thought he was going to be, but he's going to betray us in the end. We're like, but we saw you like a father. And he's like, and that was your mistake. And then shoot us in the head. And then it turns out that, you know, we were more robot than we thought. And then we come back alive and we're going to kill his ass. You know, that's just kind of where the thought process was going. But if the glove itself is the main antagonist, I I I, I don't know what to do. I, I have, oh my goodness, this, this whole, that entire conversation just blew my mind. It's like, it's like, no, he's right. Why is he, like, why he, why did he not go, oh shit, we fucked up, we need help. He's trying to hide it going, yeah, there's nothing wrong. And the government's like, oh really? Really? Then what's with all these civilians yelling and screaming about their loved ones being killed? He's like, ah, that's just, you know, that's just propaganda. You know, trying to fool the media and the world oh, and everything. They're like, okay, well, we're going to come and see it. And he's like, all right, bet. You can come. We'll see you in two days. And he calls us. He's like, you have to fix this in two days. And we're like, uh, yes, sir, because you're the one who saved our lives. We're going to do anything you tell us to. But in the end, it doesn't even matter because no matter how far we go or how hard we try, he's still going to betray us in the end. But the glove is making more rational sense. And Skorkinov created the glove and the glove is sentient. I wouldn't be surprised at all if the glove like somehow did all this. I, I think there's the glove is on to something. My glove is on to something. Now this this is just simply for matter. 
All right, make make this into a TikTok and send it to Matter. You know what you did. You know what this is for. You sick bastard. over here. Revelio! Wait. Why? It can't be that simple. Because that was just a simple... Yeah, it's... It can't be that simple. Oh, there's a garage door over there. this entire garage and there's no secret you're lying really this room and there's no there's nothing I missed something over there are these metal scrap worth it most likely not but am I gonna keep them anyway of course I am they can't send in the army there are too many people somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over but only reliable men could be sent to the facility such as the argentum unit loyal to sechenov they could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. Mm, glove, why are you so fucking smart? It's scaring me. gotta be like this I gotta make them all blue
Oh wait, two positives don't make a negative. There we go. Did the light just blink? No, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority and collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. What if someone did something? Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, Responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. <laughs> Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's going to be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuroconnector. You mean a thought device? Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of Collective. That's why he's on his way here right now. No. Oh, crispy critters. I never liked that guy. He's always complaining about Sechenov, but I never expected shit like this from him. We gotta hurry. So our neuro collectors, the things that people have been sticking on their f***ing head, have, are, they're gonna create a hive mind. And even in hive minds, you have priorities. So there is the there is standard citizens, the neuros, the neuros, the neuro hive minds. There is the alpha, the beta, and the neuros. The alpha is the one mother brain, the mother brain that connects all. It is the highest priority. Then there is the beta minds. The beta minds is the is the high tier. Er, collectives and the neurologicals are going to be all the same but they're all going to be in one hive mind sure everyone's going to have their own opinion so everyone's going to think the same but it all eventually comes back to the hive mind the main mother brain the alpha brain so it's just creating one large hive mind it's just going to be a hive mind that is going to rule the world i mean essentially that is the only way to create world peace this fucking game is fucking with my mind. Oh my God. Okay, so yeah, so to create world peace, you have to create a hive mind. So then everyone, but then there's gonna be no, no like singular thought. There's gonna be no freedom because everyone's gonna think the exact same. They did this in a Rick and Morty episode, I'm pretty sure. I'm like almost positive on that, but Jesus, the hive mind. I don't know if I can say Rick and Morty, man. Oh my God, Rabbit, where are you? <laughs> uh, no, not, 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 not. Stay. 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 I said stay. I'm talking about Rabbit right now. Not, not, not Editor Rabbit. Editor Rabbit. All right, all right. I love you. Come here, come here. Let me. Okay, 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 okay. Get the fuck out of here. You will stay over there. I'm talking about Rabbit right now in the live stream. I know you're here. Did you hear all of that? You're going to hear it all again when you edit this. Oh, my God. 
Ah, oh, freaking out, man.